Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 16 amazing iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are hidden features within iOS that a lot of people haven't noticed them but of course they are very very useful and you should know about them. So here we go 16 iPhone tricks you didn't know existed. The first trick is a trick that you can perform on the Instagram app. So you have live photos on your iPhone of course when you tap on them they will move but what if you want to post one of them on the stories of your Instagram you go ahead choose the photo and once you go here it will just be a live photo but if you tap and hold right here so tap and hold you can see now it will turn into a boomerang so you can see just like that tap and hold for a few seconds there until it says boomerang and now you can have that live photo posted not just like a normal photo but like a boomerang on your Instagram stories. A lot of times on your iPhone you might turn on the flashlight by accident so you can see right here I have the flashlight turned on what if you want to quickly disable the flashlight without having to look for the button here all you have to do is just go ahead and just swipe like that to the camera side and you can see it will turn off the flashlight it is that easy you don't even have to look for the flashlight button you take it out of your pocket sometimes it just turns on all you gotta do is just like that as you can see it will turn it off immediately if you're somebody that works out a lot and you want to share the workouts that you did then if you go to the activity app what you can do here is tap the little share button and tap on save image now what this does is that it will take basically the highlights from your workout and will place them all in a picture it is really really cool you can see the picture right here so it will basically show you that little icon of the workout the map right there the distance the total calories and of course the type of workout that you did and of course then you can use this picture to share it anywhere you want on your social media so you can create these kind of pictures for every workout that you have saved on the activity app now safari on your ios device will use google as its default search engine but did you know that you can actually change the search engine of safari you can do that by going to settings go to safari and right here we'll find search engine and you will have here yahoo bing and also duckduckgo so you will have the option to change between these four different search engines so if you don't prefer google then from the settings of the safari app you will have the ability to change the default search engine of safari also on Safari, if you're within the app and you find something on a website that you're interested in and you want to save that, so let's say here, this part of the text, I want to save this, turn this into a note. What you can do is just go ahead and select any text you want. Tap the share button and just go ahead and tap on the notes app and this will actually create a note with that text. As easy as that, you can save any part here of any website as a note on your iOS 13 device. Did you know that you can mark up PDF files on your files app? So you go to one of your PDFs and what you need to do here is just tap that little markup button and you will have here the option to basically use all the different markup tools in order to basically mark up any PDF. But if you swipe like this, you can see it will mark up, it won't go to the second page. Just slide with two fingers like this and you will be able to move through different pages of this PDF and of course mark up any of them, mark up anything you want. Or even if you want to sign them, just go ahead, tap right there the plus button and you will be able to add text or add a signature if you want to sign a PDF file, which is of course very, very useful. Now if you tap done right here, it will save all the markups that you did. Now of course on the files app, you can also 3D touch on any file or folder in order to rename it or you can just go ahead and tap on its name like that and you will be able to rename that to anything you want you can do the same right here with the folders just tap on any folder and you will have the ability to rename them without having to go to the 3d touch menu on the files app you will also have the ability to convert any image easily to a pdf file just 3d touch on any image that you have and you will have the option right here at the very bottom create pdf just like that it will create a pdf file out of that image now of course the trackpad on the keyboard is an old trick you tap and hold the space bar and you will be able to move the cursor anywhere you want on a text of course that's very useful but what if you're on the emoji keyboard Keyboard. you will have to go back to the normal keyboard move the cursor and then go back to the emoji keyboard to enter any emoji anywhere you want but you can do that here as well just tap on the space like here like this empty space tap and hold and it will turn the emoji keyboard into a trackpad which is of course very very 
very useful. Now, this is really cool. Now, another trick that you can perform on the emoji keyboard. So on like hands and stuff like that, where there are different color choices, you will have them saved, of course. So if you have them on the recently here and you don't want to add this, you want to add a different color of that emoji, you can tap and hold here and then it will show you the menu, which of course allows you to add different colors from there. So you will have all the options simply by tapping and holding right here. So you have a live photo on your iPhone that you want to share with someone, but you don't want to send it as a live photo. You just want to send it as a simple picture. If you want to airdrop it or something like that, it will of course airdrop as a live photo, but you don't want to do that. And what you can do is go ahead and go to the live photo, tap the edit button and go ahead and tap that little circle right there, which allows you to edit the live photo. And what you can do from here is just tap that yellow button right there at the top click done and now you will have a normal photo this is no longer a live photo whenever you share it or do anything you want with it it will be just like a normal photo also on the albums on your device on ios 13 you will be able to rearrange all the photos manually so you just tap and a photo you can drag it and as you can see you can basically place it anywhere you want on the album you can rearrange all the photos that you have here manually place them anywhere you want in any order you want that's really really cool the same thing that you do with app with icons on the home screen you can do that with the photos on any album on your photos app on the notes app if you have like a list like this one right here you can move these items simply by swiping like this so if you have like a task here that you have already completed and you just want to move it from the list here you can just swipe it like this and of course you will have the ability to move it further here you want to bring it back you can go ahead and swipe like this so as easy as that you can swipe on any like items that you have on a list to move it anywhere you want on your ios 13 device you have of course the widgets on the lock screen which you can access from swiping from left to the right and of course from right to the left you will have the camera but what if you have like widgets that contain like different informations that you don't want to share with anyone so here i have like a widget that contains stuff for my clipboard so i don't want anyone to see that on the lock screen when my device is locked what you need to do is go ahead go to settings go to face id and passcode and scroll down and go ahead and disable today's view now what this will do is go ahead and disable that from the lock screen you can see here i won't be able to actually go ahead and access the stuff that is right here the widgets that are on the left side of course i have the camera enabled but that is disabled which is of course very very useful and very good for your own privacy if you have your airpods connected to your iphone then you will have the ability to rename your airpods to anything you want now, by default, they will have the name AirPods or AirPods Pro. You go ahead and go to the Bluetooth menu on the settings app and right here at AirPods, just tap that little I button, go to name right here and you can go ahead and just enter any name you want as the name of your AirPods. And then, of course, this will be saved. And in the future, when you connect them, you will see this as the name of your AirPods. On the calendar app of your iOS 13 device, if you have an event set for, let's say, today and you want to move it to another day, what you can do is just tap and hold on it, drag it like this, and go ahead and just place it on any other day that you want. Just release it right there and you will be able, as easy as that, to move the event on any other day that you want. And by dragging like this, you will be able to set the time of the event, of course, make it longer or shorter simply by tapping on that little like circle right there and swiping up and down. So that is it for this video guys. These are some really awesome iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are like hidden features within iOS that are very, very useful. And a lot of people don't even know about them and don't know that they can do such kind of stuff on their iOS 13 device. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned some new tricks. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a like in this one if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next one.